Hey, this is Anthony from Soul TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars Warden Jacket, available at Revzilla.com. Black Shadow. This is one of my favorite Black Shadow jackets that Alpine Stars has done. And if you're not familiar with Black Shadow, it's when they go all murdered out. And I know that's not the PC to thing to think about, but if we look at it, you're going to see tonal. All black. Black Shadow is really the stealth Batman homage to motorcycling. The Warden is going to be just over the $300 mark, and if I really look at it, I think of a TGPR Air, which is an aggressive sport riding mesh jacket, and I think about it on steroids, all murdered out. Now, if we do look at it, you're getting that 450D polyamide, which is that premium polyamide with a really nice hand to it, and you have a little bit less mesh in the TGPR Air. But they've given you some other creature comforts that really pull together nicely. And one of my favorite things about it is if we look at it, big mesh panels on the front and on the side almost has a skull-like quality to it. It's very ominous. Now, there is going to be a removable windbreaker. So, three season hot weather, no thermal property, bring your own base layer, and the removable windbreaker is just kind of its standalone windbreaker. It's not meant as a stylized destination layer. And I like that they actually did that where some other manufacturers might do the jacket and they'll give you that windbreaker that's overly styled. That's great, but it would have gotten close to the $400 mark. And I think they did it on purpose to keep it close to the threes. And that's a nice touch. It's going to be much more attainable. Now, if we look at some of the other basics here, remember three season, hot weather, liner out, you're good to go when it's summertime riding. You're going to have the DFS system. You're going to have bio armor underneath in the elbows as well as the shoulders. And you're going to be able to add all the new Nucleon armor to it. So Nucleon chest inserts, buy them separately. Nucleon back insert, take it to CE level two. It's not going to come with a back protector. Keep that in mind. Now, quick note on fitment. Remember, one color only. Bus all, you should just wear black shadow all the time. This guy's six foot, 215, 46 inch chest. He's wearing a size extra large. If we look at it, it's not sport cut, but it's also not touring cut. It's gonna be more of that sport touring, has a nice felt aggressive line to it, but it's not overly aggressive. It was overly tight. You wouldn't be able to ride it for longer distances and potentially commuter or upright, more sport touring oriented positions. Also have stretch on the inside of the arm. You're gonna have snaps across the bicep, which are going to allow you to adjust the volume and down along the hips, you're gonna have some cinches as well. We'll show you those in a second. Now, now keep in mind, use the size chart. No surprises here. It fits like normal Alpine Star stuff does. But before I move on, click our logo. This is not an ask. I'm telling you to. Click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Alpine Stars Warden, part of the Black Shadow Collection. I'd actually love to hear if you like it as much as I do, and I'd love to hear what you think they should improve, because I have a couple ideas. Now, moving into the jacket itself. Notice, we talked about the premium polyamide, we talked about the armor, we'll talk about DFS in a second, we talked about these big vet mesh panels that allow you to flow air through. Like the blacked out A-Stars logo, it's almost rubberized, it's gonna be attached to it, it's not an embroidery, it's more of a, I don't wanna call it an iron on, but it's welded to the jacket. And these are welded, you can see, there's no seam here. They're actually sonically welded to the jacket. Two basic hand warmer pockets, and then up around the top, it's a very basic Mandarin style collar, which A-Stars is doing these days, and it has a nice neoprene line that goes all the way around it. Neoprene's really nice when it's really hot out and you're sweating, it's not gonna chafe you. Now, if we look at the rest of the jacket here, turn and face that away. Here's one of my favorite pieces here in this price range, the DFS system. Remember, it's over top of bio armor, but now you have DFS, which is going to be shock absorbent. It's also going to be slide protective, and it just looks gnarly and badass, creates that great shoulder line to the jacket. Notice here on the bicep too, that you're going to have an additional panel for airflow, and then notice the 45 degree elastication coming up here across the elbow. So again, great range of motion, great protection here on the warden. If we look towards the back, big, big panel of this sonically welded micro mesh, again, for flowing airflow. And then we come down here to the waist and you do have your basic cinch as well. Notice that's your adjustability. They just kept it simple and they kept it tight. Buzzsaw, turn the back for me. If we look at the back, big area of 3D mesh along the collar for breathability. Again, if you're in that tuck or that three quarter position, great breathability. It's gonna interface nicely with your helmet. Notice neoprene at the top and we work our way down. You can see both of those back exhaust vents to flow air out the back. We talked about upgrading the back protector, nuclear, Nucleon KR1i -I or KR2i. And then you still get the drop seat, even though it's a little more sport, sport touring oriented, you're still getting it past the waist, down covering your pockets. Again, a little bit of extra color coverage, and I like that they've added in that pop of reflectivity. Pop of reflectivity on both arms as well. Bust, I'll come back around to the front for me. Let's open this bad boy up. So as Ed undoes the warden, you're going to notice, ah, oh, Zilla Palooza shirt. 360 degree zip, here's your basic windbreaker. And again, if Alpine Stars made a windbreaker, 
That was a basic windbreaker you'd get for around 100 bucks. I might even say it'd be great if it was integrated and you could work its way in. As they're doing these days, you get your Napoleon pocket that's completely waterproof because everybody's carrying a smartphone now. And then on the inside, we talked about being able to upgrade to the Nucleon system for the chest. Looking at the collar, it's a 3D weave. It's neoprene line. It's going to wick. It's going to be nice and comfortable. If you get a shot of that guy, again, it's more of the premium components. And if you work your way into this side, again, pockets within the windbreak liner and then basic mesh on the exterior. So when you're riding it in the hottest times of the year, get that outer shell, great airflow in, great airflow out through the back. You're going to stay cool and comfortable versus hot and sweaty. And when you're comfortable, you're safe on a motorcycle. So all in, you can tell that I'm a fan of the Warden. There's also the Megaton. If you want to go a little bit more waterproof, a little less aggressive, you can have the drop liner, drop thermal liner, drop waterproof, drop thermal, around the same price. But again, you're stepping up into some of the more technical garments, and within Black Shadow, you go leather after this, so they become a little bit more of an investment, and they're less versatile from the hot weather side of things. Because again, leather, you're trading protection for airflow. The next step in your journey is to click the info button. Visit RevZilla.com, the product page, read other rider reviews of the new A-Stars Warden jacket. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.